The door is not locked. Push harder. Every setback, they say, is a stepping stone to success. Reminds me of the story of a man who created the ball that gives light to humankind in darkness. The great Thomas Edison, who failed about 10,000 times before his first breakthrough. The debates that he failed between 1,000 and 10,000 times. Whichever it is, I think it's safe to say that he failed a whole lot of times. I don't want to think about how hard that must have been. His words were, I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Every man, no matter the social and financial status, has a difficulty or challenge. He or she is going through to achieve success. Therefore, we all need a support system to cheer us when we do not feel like going anymore, and a hand to pull us up when we fall, and there is seemingly no way forward. A saying goes that there is no success without a story. The current hardship you are going through is going to be a success story because success or breakthrough is always sweet after a moment of toiling. Yes, rest is sweet after labor. In simple and clear words, I would like to say to anyone who is facing somewhat insurmountable obstacle should never give up. Always remember that tough times never last, only tough people do. This means that only kinds of people that outlive difficult times are those who tighten their grit and face the situation headlong. On the road to success, you can compete with no other than yourself. You should only strive hard to be better than those who you used to be. It is good to have those who inspire you to reach for the peak, whose efforts to excel you can emulate and learn from their mistakes too. They are called mentors. Enduring hardship and surmounting hurdles will be tough and a total waste if you had run someone else's race. Every man needs to define his path, chart his course, and follow it through. This, for most people, might be their innate ability, while for others, a skill learned. Whichever it is, find it and stay with it. The truth is that the longer you practice a thing, the better or more skilled you become at it. If you have successfully identified your path, don't just stop there. It is time to act, work, and labor. I mean, actively exert and expend energy. No one, not even a mediocre, likes to be associated with mediocrity. This means that you have to be very skilled at what you do. Pay for it monetarily if need be. Be diligent and consistent because perfection comes with consistency. And success is the child of constant effort. In most cases, you will not have that massive breakthrough at the first trial or call of action. Remember these good old sayings, everything good comes to those that wait and nothing good comes easy. This simply means that patience is key and you have to be very patient with yourself. Do not beat yourself up over every little setback. You will make a mistake, which is perfectly okay and generic to all human. Instead, find out why the delay happened, learn from it, and do not allow it to repeat itself. As I said earlier, the only person you should compete with is who you were yesterday. I did some survey on why most diligent, hardworking and persistent people seem to keep going around in circles. What I found out is that they stay around them, those who do not see or understand their dreams. When you seem to keep going around in a circle, then it is time to break out of that circle. Time to establish new relationships time to network with people like-minded with you. Time to collaborate with those that are going the same way as you're headed. We all need someone to walk with. And the going gets more comfortable when there is someone like-minded to accompany that journey. 
If everyone around you cannot see what you are seeing, then it is high time you sold your dreams to those that will see it, appreciate it, and work it with you. One key thing to pay attention to when it comes to networking or relating to like-minded persons is collaboration. I agree with the saying that there is no free lunch ever in free town. No one will want to give value away for nothing. That is the truth. But you also need to understand that the only equivalent price for value is not money. Value can be exchanged for value. For example, an aspiring model, scouting for agencies to work with, but has no resources to hire a professional photographer to boost her visibility chances, can model for a startup photography firm, who in turn doesn't have the financial capacity to employ a model as a face of his brand, to shoot her sessions for free and send it to agencies. This way, it is a win-win situation. Value is gotten for value instead of value for money. This is what is called collaboration, and it is the cheapest way to achieve success. You need to ask yourself, who are my closest friends and allies? In what ways are they benefiting from me and vice versa? What has the circle been like with them? If the answers to the question negate your dreams, goals, and ambition, it's time to take that massive step of breaking out of that circle. You can't rise beyond those around you. How soon do you see the huge breakthrough coming? Is it now? Then it is time to act. Don't ever think about delaying it. Don't. I would like to close with the one of Thomas Edison's quote. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Are you going to push harder? Try it some other way or give up altogether. The choice is yours. I look forward to hearing your success story being the encouragement to generations after you.